the bridge. Captain Northside, the bridge. All personnel to emergency stations. Prepare to abandon the starship. Just went into action. Prepare to abandon the starship. Stand by for power thrust. Everyone strapped in? Blasting off now. Scan for survivors. Nyla, did any other shuttlecraft leave the mothership? Uh, I don't know. Check. No, only floating debris. And this? Unless they got out ahead of us and the force of the explosion drove them beyond scanner range. Captain Northside, the communications officer. Did you manage to send out an SOS? Yes, sir. I sent out a signal, but I don't know if anyone picked it up. The explosion. It just caused too much static. Captain, what the hell happened? The Odyssey disintegrated. Yes, I know. I can see that, but I'm asking what the hell happened? I don't know. I am Vice President of Spaceways Incorporated. I'm holding you personally responsible for my safety. And the safety of my secretary, Derna. Secretary? Captain. <sighs> Nurse, can you help her? Right away, sir. Navigation, where are we? God knows. There are no charts for this area. Engineering, Jim, what shape are we in? We're functioning on reserve only. We'll make it to that point of the head. Scanner's showing acceptable oxygen level. The atmosphere is breathable. Keep her floating, Jim. We're gonna land her down there. Captain, we don't know what's down there. We have no other choice. We're coming in too fast. I need more control. We're caught in gravitational pull. We don't have enough power to fight it. Everyone strap in. But we'll break up if we hit land at this speed. Captain, slow her down. Slow her fast, Mr. Baylor. We're landing. Captain, do the head. I'll see her something. That'll give us our soft landing. Everyone remain calm. Keep seated. Take it 
water. Let's go. Go. Goodbye, Mr. Baylor. We've landed on a planet with atmosphere. And life conditions much like Earth. Yeah, yeah. I hear that's not so rare. The problem is where the hell are we? I mean, I gotta get to a radio phone or something. He's gotta be kidding. I don't know. Mr. Bailey, we have just come out of subspace and we're light years away from any known civilization. What are you trying to tell me? This isn't Nebraska. There isn't any filling station down the road. There isn't any telephones. If there were, long distance rates would be something else. So we're lost. I don't know where we are. He doesn't know where we are. She don't know where we are. You don't know where we are. Didn't you send out an SOS? Yes, but I don't think it was received. Well, send it again, girl. Where is the distress transmitter? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to tow it in. Oh, great, great. <laughs> you not only lose a spaceship, you almost drowned all of us, and you land us God knows where, and now you're telling me you lost the most valuable piece of equipment we had aboard ship? Captain, the next ship you get, you're going to be the steward. It's designed to float. It's... it must be floating out there somewhere. I'll get it. Chuck? <laughs> Wait! I'll help you. That's okay, Chuck can do it. No, it's my job. Why did she come out there? To help me? No. Why? No, it's all right. It's I didn't right. want... Well, the shuttle's gone and we've lost the radio. Yeah, and a human being. How do we stand with weapons? Uh, four lasers. Everybody, let's get the gear together and get out of here. Shall I take the right flank? Yes, you take the right. And Mike, you take the rear. Hey, where, 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 where are we going? Away from here. That thing may be amphibious. <laughs> I don't know what's out there or where we are. We know the ship's SOS went out, and people will know we're in this area. They'll be coming to rescue us. My job is to see that we all stay alive until help comes, or until we can adjust properly to this world. So my plans are, my orders are, to grab this gear and move out to safer, drier ground. Wherever that is.
What's the matter? It's all right, it's all right. It's just the water. She's a little bit upset because of what happened back there. And I don't blame her. Now, wasn't there some way we could go around the swamp? Well, we don't know how long that would take. Look, the captain wants to get us out here as soon as possible. Look, take this. Take it. You see anything that frightens you, press here. It'll kill almost anything. Don't worry, you'll be all right. one of the lasers to Miss Lee. She dropped it when she got in trouble out there. You gave a weapon to a civilian? An hysterical civilian at that? She might have shot all of us. It seemed to comfort her. She was, she was frightened. Jim, how's the laser? Dead. Mike, you've cost us one of the few remaining weapons that we have. But by doing that, you've reduced our chances of survival by one gun. You're an officer. Behave like one. He only did what he thought was right, Lee. No, Jim. No one does what he thinks is right. You all do what I think is right. I'm in command here. Oh, no, Jim. The captain's right. I did a very stupid thing. I'm sorry. I'll cause no more trouble. I'll do as I'm told. Marshal me. I'm not going one step further. We've got to get out of the swamp before night. Lee, we don't know how long that'll take. Everyone could use a rest. Okay, we'll make camp here. Jim, stand guard. Chuck, prepare the fire. Charlotte, help. And Mike, get the food ready. Nyla, give him a hand. Ah. It says here, the government guarantees this product contains an, an adult's daily requirement of vitamins, minerals, and protein. It enables a person to complete his daily task with strength, energy, and, and a cheerful attitude. Funny, I don't feel a bit cheerful. did we salvage? Well, aside from the two remaining lasers, we have some food, some survival equipment, but not much else. What about the signal mirrors? We'll need those. 
We may have to send out scouting parties, and they may be the only means of communication I have left. Here, we've got four. This one's for you. I'm a technician, not an explorer. I never had much survival training. They never covered this type of situation at the Space Center. Hey, you'll do fine. How is he? Fine. A little shock. He'll come out of it. What? He's not missing anything. Where are we going, Captain, and why? To find a good place to make a permanent camp until we can be rescued. Oh, yeah? When's that gonna be? I don't know. Until we're rescued, we'll use the survival tools we have and live off the land as best we can. <laughs> live off the land? What are we, a bunch of raccoons? Why don't we just go somewhere? and ask somebody for some help. I didn't plan this, Mr. Baylor. Perhaps if your company had been more careful how they built reactors, maybe we wouldn't be in this type of situation. We are obviously miles from any intelligent habitation, Mr. Baylor. If there is any at all on this planet. We'll be fine. We'll just take one day at a time. They'll find us. We're never going to be found. We're going to stay here, like Cindy. You know, this is just like camping out. When I was a little girl, we used to go to this beautiful valley in Ohio. There were weeping willows and... Oh, what the hell was that? An animal of sort. Well, we know it was an animal of sorts. It didn't sound like a foghorn. I mean, what, 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 what makes that kind of a sound? I've heard something like that before. Once when I was in Africa, what kind of animal was it? I, I don't mean the animal is familiar. I mean the sound. It's a hunting call. Whatever is out there is carnivorous. And it sounds very, very hungry. Similar to Earth, similar elements bring about similar life forms. I never saw anything like that on Earth. Shh. It would have millions of years ago. Obviously, this planet is much younger than that of our Earth. Still want to stay here, Mr. Baylor? to that thing. Strange. That doesn't look like the print of an amphibian. Let's not wait to find out what it is. Let's just get out of here. Look! Over there! Oh, 
my God, it looks half eaten. What could have done that? Some very large predator. Lee, whatever made this print kill that animal? It's definitely not an amphibian. Oh, come on. What it you... can roam anywhere, hunt anywhere. Come on, let's go. It's a rest period. I'm not hungry. It's a rest period, Derna. Take your rations. What about all these fruits and berries? The nurse is scanning the flora now to make sure that it's safe to eat. What do you got there, Charlotte? Anything edible? this. Tastes like shredded wheat. It's high in protein value. Shredded wheat. Great. Now all I need is some prune juice to wash it down with. What are these? They're much like belladonna on earth. Ah, friends from home. Deadly poison, of course. Rest period.
Let's get out of here. How are we going to get away from something that big? We find high ground and climb. Big awkward thing like that will never be able to climb rock walls. Come on. All right, this looks like a good place to start. Hey, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going? Up, Mr. Baylor. Up there? What, are you crazy or something? Why? Because from what I saw several miles back, I think there's a plateau up there. Ah, uh, so? We'd be safe there. If there's only this entrance, the bigger creatures won't be able to climb up. Oh, well, they won't, huh? Well, I'll tell you something. I know one small creature that's not going to climb up either. And that's me. Come on, everybody. Let's go. The guy's out of his mind. Oh, Harvey, cool it. Come on. You're going to go up there. <laughs> down to get it? Are you volunteering, Mr. Baylor? Hey, that was our food! We'll find food on the plateau. Let's wait for the others. Honey, I am pooped. Why don't you run down the hill and get me some water from that stream? Hey, wait a minute. Look too beat to make it down the hill, much less up again. Hey, Robinson Crusoe, get yourself a new girl Friday. 
Hey, what's the hustle? I'm thirsty. Oh, gee. I didn't realize. In that case, you sit here and uh, I'll have someone bring the stream up here for you. <laughs> you know, I could have you docked two weeks pay for that kind of smart ass attitude. Now remember one thing, I'm still your employer. I'm his employer. Oh, I... Harvey Cool, if he didn't mean anything, I'll get your water. Wait a minute, why should you be getting him water? He it's... is my employer. I'm your employer. Get on your feet, he's not your owner. All right, I'll get the water. Let him get the water, let him get the water. This doesn't concern you, I'll get the water. Let... Look okay, get the water. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get you in trouble. <laughs> Somebody, anybody, please get the water. Somebody get the water. Except don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Okay. Sorry. Sorry I bothered. <laughs> Gangadin, uh, get water for the site. Hey, uh, uh, a <laughs> hey, young lady. It said. Uh, it's not going to look too good on your efficiency record. What's this? I quit. Sorry about the two weeks notice. Take it out of my vacation pay. Oh, uh... I'll need two volunteers to see what's up there. I'll go. Good. Take Mr. Baylor with you. Uh, I thought this was volunteer work. You haven't been carrying any heavy equipment, Mr. Baylor. You look fairly well rested. Well, doesn't being a vice president pull any weight around here? Of course, Mr. Baylor. I mean, you get to walk on the shady side. Mm. I suppose rank has its privileges. rankest privileges I've ever encountered.
better wait here. Just uh, how long if you need me or something. <laughs> hey, Nyla! Hey, Nyla, come here! Come here, come here! Do you know what this is, sweetheart? This is Egg Benedict for a week! Scrambled eggs, sunny side up, cheese omelet for thin, Can you imagine what must have laid these? We're looking at fried chicken for a month. Harvey, I don't think a chicken laid these. Well, I'll tell you something. It wasn't a streetcar, baby. Here, chicky, chicky! Come here, Uncle Harvey, sweetheart! <laughs> Stay here. Stay here? What for? It's a good spot. Easy to defend. We'll stay here till we're rescued. Till we're rescued? When? When is that going to be, Lee? Let's face it, we're stuck here. This is our life now. This is our world. Our world. They know where the Odyssey was when they lost her signal. They'll come through subspace. They'll see this planet. They'll come here. When? I don't know when. But we'll be here and safe when they come. If something doesn't get us first. What do you propose we do? Go and hunt that thing down? You saw the size of it. Come on, you two. Jim, the captain's right. We can't go out and fight that thing. Listen, centuries ago on Earth, wolves used to wipe out whole villages until men went out and hunted them. Wolves learn. We've got to go out and teach them. We can't risk lives trying to tame dinosaurs. We'll stay here. We're safe. 
safe. We're prisoners. Lee, there's land out there, land to farm, land to build on. We're technicians. We can build a civilized community. Here we're nothing but savages hiding in caves. I say we stay. It would seem the most sensible thing to do. We can't risk any more lives. That's right. Our job is to stay alive, not conquer new planets. And what the hell were you doing on the Odyssey in the first place? All right, everybody. We're home. We've got work to do. Weapons to build, tools. We'll build up this wall over here, and then we'll be safe. Well, the stockade's almost finished. Good. It would have gone faster if Jim had helped more. Jim doesn't think the stockade will do any good. He doesn't think it'll keep anything out. Not the big animals we saw below. That's why we climbed up to this plateau. We haven't seen anything up here that could get through that stockade. No, not so far. You agree with Jim? You think the stockade's a waste of time? I didn't say that. Jim thinks everything I do is a waste of time. He doesn't think I know what I'm doing. That's not true. Every time I give an order, I turn around and he's standing there staring at me. And it's obvious what he's thinking, that I'm a fool. Lee, you're taking his criticism too personally. It's not you he's attacking, it's just some of your decisions. It's the same thing. No, you're a fine man. Jim knows that. He just has some ideas of his own. He wouldn't question what you were saying unless he thought it was for the good of all of us. You agree with him? I just think he should be listened to sometimes. Lee, I'll always do what you say. Unless the time comes that I... I think one of your decisions might be wrong for my survival and the survival of the others. And then? And then I must make my own decisions.
What are you doing? Nothing. Just looking. It's so beautiful now. I could almost like this place. I could almost feel at home. What's over there? I don't know. Let's go see. one. Well, that's it. Yeah. Let's go tell him. Okay, it's finished. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Berry juice here, I fermented up. Listen, it uh, tastes kind of weird, but I'm gonna sit back a while. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> it tastes awful. <laughs> hmm, but it feels so good. <laughs> Maybe someone should stay on the alert. Oh, come on, boss. We don't build your stockade for you. Show a little appreciation. Have a drink with the hell. You don't have to ask me twice. How can you drink that stuff? Oh, darling, it's only the first cup that's so bad. After that, your taste buds are dead from alcoholic poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let me see. Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, Beauvoir Vineyard 98, a vintage year. <laughs> the dance of desire. Everyone is if he'd let himself be. <laughs> oh, Jim, have some compassion. Lee's doing the very best he can. I know. But out here, it's not enough. He's not like you. He doesn't always know what's right. Don't be sarcastic. I'm not. Only the last few weeks, I've just watched you become more rigid, invulnerable, and godlike. Have pity on us mortals. Lee is nice. Lee is kind. Lee is weak. Don't be cruel. On this world, you have two choices. Be cruel or die. I don't ever want to have to make that choice, Jim. Civilization is like that uniform you're wearing. It's getting dirty and torn. And pretty soon, it's going to rot away. You had better decide what you're going to wear then. I'll find something. I'll find something soft and warm and protective. You all have a lot to learn. You all? Why not we? We, Jim. Forgive us, we're only human, but... We're lonely, Jim. And we're frightened. 
And God help us, a little drunk. Enjoy your party. I'll stand guard. Jim. If you ever need anyone. Then, the farmer says, well, I don't have any daughters, but I do have a son that's a traveling salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Been. Oh, well, we're all as safe as if we were home in bed. <laughs> hey, happy new world! Happy, happy new, new world! world. Yeah. Should old acquaintance be forgotten and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgotten? astro-reflectors. Don't worry, he'll be all right. It's just that, well, sometimes he doesn't seem as alert as he should be. You want to go out after him? Keep an eye on him? I sent him out over those rocks over there. Maybe I should just go and give him a hand. Sure. Chuck, you haven't finished laying out the reflectors. We have to lay them out if we want to be rescued. What's the use? Tell me how they work. In the normal survey of a new planet, you first explore it with scanner rays. The mythonian coating on the reflectors would bounce the rays right back to the ship. Any search party scanning this planet could pinpoint right where to find us. That's terrific. If there was a search party in this section of the galaxy. We have to believe there is, or will be. When? Theoretically, the Mythonian could bounce back signals forever, couldn't it? Yeah, so in 10 years, somebody sees the signals and comes on down. Where would we be? I don't know. We don't think 10 years ahead. We just do what we have to today. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe we're wasting our time. We could set the reflectors out and something will just come along and eat them. No. No, my thonian tastes terrible. What? My father was an astrophysicist. When I was a little kid, I thought mythonium was the most wonderful thing in the world. I tasted some. It, it tastes like old socks. <laughs> well, guess I'd better get back to work. If we ever want to get rescued, these reflectors have got to start sending out their signals now. I'll help. No, you can. You go back to camp. I'll finish this. Okay?
Where's your safety? She was nearly killed. From now on, no one goes anywhere alone. We work in pairs. This is that thing's hunting ground, and it's coming back unless we make sure it doesn't. How do we do that? Hunt it. Kill it. Are you crazy? Some of us could get maimed or killed. So we wait till that thing gets hungry and comes back? No! I say we get it now while it's hurt. Go on, now! They're right, you know. I'm tired of hiding and jumping at every sound. God, I just want to bite back. Lee, they need this. They've got to do it. The, the fear, the tension, it's doing something to all of us. This way. Especially this way. Follow me. Down here. His footprints disappeared. Looks like some other animal was here. He must have gotten our friend. Yeah, and by the looks of it, he was several times bigger than that thing you were hunting. Uh, it's getting dark out. I think we should get back to camp. You were staring at it so intently, I thought maybe you were hypnotized, or seeing visions. I was just wondering how many other things we're going to have to get used to. Things like eating dinosaurs. Nyla, what's wrong with Lee? What do you mean? He's so tense lately. We're all tense. You can't be relaxed in a situation like this. I mean, he gives an order, then he seems uncertain. Insecure, as if he doubts the decision he's made. It's not easy making decisions when it could be a matter of life or death. I'm not questioning his ability, but it is limited by his experience. You think Jim could do better? Jim has had more space travel than Lee. He's been in more alien worlds. Lee has, well, I know he was top of his class at the academy. He has an excellent record since, but 
Lee will do what he thinks is right. After all, we've got to have rules, even on this world. And Lee is the captain? Right. And you, of course, always go by the rules. Yes. Do you realize that if anything happened to Lee, and if we went by the rules, you'd be in charge? Could you lead us? Could you keep us alive better than Jim? There it is. What? Memories. Earth and home. I can see it in the fire. Floating out there in space millions of miles away. Just another planet. Yet when I think of it, I could cry. I wish I could see what you do, Charlotte. Ah, there it is. Poor, beautiful, tired old Earth. I wonder if I'll ever see you again. Whatever it is, it's nearby. What are you saying? Mike said it. That's a hunting cry. I don't think it'll attack us. We can't wait around to find out. Jim, you saw the size of those prints. How are we going to deal with an animal that big? Besides, we're safe here in the stockade. Are we? What if it attacks outside the stockade? Are we going to let it pick the time and place it decides to kill us? We've got to hunt it down now in its lair and kill it. Jim, you're crazy. How are we going to kill a thing that big? That gun wouldn't even kill the little beast. It's an animal. A dumb animal. We're rational thinking human beings. We'll find a way. No. No, we shouldn't risk any more lives just because you want to play Tarzan. You fools. Jim's right. What are we going to do? Sit around here like cattle in a pen waiting for that thing to come get us? Millions of years ago on Earth, an ape, an ape took a club and killed his first predator. Well, we've got to kill that thing, or, or that something inside of us, that dignity that makes us human. Fear's going to kill that. You're the navigator, Chuck. Which one is Earth? You can't see it from here, unless you close your eyes. See it? I see a farm in Ohio on a fall morning. There's still some mist on the ground. Pale, pale blue mist. I told you. It's not really so far away. Take me home. Hang on. Just hang on.
Seems to be coming from there. We found it. That thing must live here. Let's go. We could burn it up somehow. No, Nyla. Years ago, Indians said it was buffaloes. I think we can drive it the over a cliff. The berries are the safest, surest thing. We've been deciding on how to kill that thing. We can use those poison berries. Good. Lee, it might work. Their juice rubbed on spears and arrow tips. Why face the thing? Let's go out, kill a creature, stuff it with the berries, and put it outside its lair. It's too uncertain. Maybe he can smell these things. Maybe he knows they're poison. I'm for a direct attack. The bait idea seems more sensible. It'd be safer. And we know the berries work in the digestive tract. What effect they'll have, if any, in the blood system isn't certain. Poison's poison. And you said they were very, very potent. No. I'd buy Lee's idea first. Poison bait. No, I agree with Jim. What if it doesn't eat carrion? There's too many ifs. Let's try Lee's bait idea first. If it doesn't work, we've lost nothing. Then we can try Jim's more direct method. All right, let's get to work. You three go gather the berries. Chuck, come with us.
Stupid as I think it is, it'll impale itself on the poison stakes. Well, let's get to work. Where do we start? from that. Where are we going? There's a valley west of here. I scouted it yesterday. We'll be safe there? You guarantee us completely safe? No more spiders, no more dinosaurs, all peace and quiet just over the next hill? You're not risking any more lives trying to kill that thing. We're leaving here. Lee, you're a fool. I'm taking everyone and we're leaving here. Go ahead and run, Lee. You've got a whole damn world to run in. But you're gonna have to run alone. We're not going with you. I'm in charge here. You'll do as I say. Stop working. Pack up. We're leaving. Nobody's going. No one's listening to you anymore. You're just another guy around here. That uniform means nothing. Maybe this means something. I say we go. I'm the leader here. If you think differently, prove it. I've always said you had to fight for what you really wanted. Sometimes aggression is necessary. I was right. But I won't fight you. Not now. Not while our beast is still alive. He's coming! You smashed everything all our world. We're not ready. Hey! Let him go. He knows what he's doing.
You have a nice walk? I thought I'd give our friend a little exercise. We're ready. Just give us the word. Let's do it. Let's go. ready. What is it tonight? Lizard again? No, we had that last night. Today we're having filet of swamp monster. You know, it's getting so I like that. We're almost finished. We'll be right there. Okay. Where's my four? Five. Seven. Good boy! I think we'll ever be rescued. Somehow it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> 